three. Oh. Hey, guess what? It's not worth it. Doesn't look worth it to me. Hell no, it's not. Doesn't look worth it. Uh, all right, so that's the left side, or right side, I should say. She's my center point for the middle. There's a path down on the left. And uh, I don't see a door. Nah, nah, this is all walls. The only way forward is that big, gigantic crystal mass. Oh, turn your right for a little bit. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's an item there. There is. I'm gonna see if I can do it without getting into the range of those three. Oh, they're super far, dude. Tweedledee. I mean, look, walking up that slope, I feel like they might they might catch a glimpse. That's of ridiculous. That's ridiculous, even. Crystalline! Oh, I can look like one of those fucks. Yeah. You guys are super messed up. What do we got? Crystalline shit. It's one of those pronunciations that fucks me up because both are accurate. Yeah, and well, remember Bernstein, Ornstein? Yeah. You know. Wait, the Bernstein bear? What? Yeah, Bernstein. It's a crystallized helm worn by a hollowed knight who is partially crystallized. The power of the crystal. Crystal. Creates high defense. Grants high defense. Fuck it. In exchange... I have slept like shit every day this week as well. Awful durability. Alright, you got one over there. This has been one of those fucking weeks. It hasn't really it? Has. Where it's just like... But, but you know what makes it better? What's that? Um... You'll never see it coming... Ooh. Hey, Wooly, call my phone. <laughs> I'm playing a game right now. Do, do I'm literally you, let's play right now. I do can't you, do you want do you want the ringtone version that I made? Sure. Too sure. bad. <laughs> make it yourself. Fine. Fine. If you're Dang. if you are gonna make it yourself, then I might as well just give it to you. I'm pretty happy with Moriocho Radio, but that's wait, wait. I thought that was your text message. It is my text okay. message. Okay. But yeah, I can. What's be, your ringtone? It's still Knighthood. Okay. It's it, wow, wow. You've stayed consistent. I love. That song. I don't like it. I love it. You want to make babies with that song? It makes me happy when I hear it. But so does Persona 5. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Uchi's better for these. Well, it's faster at least. And it's doing comparable damage. Um, and two over here. I can do two. Well, you will have to. No, I don't. No, you will. You will have to get through that. I can, I, mean. I, can, I can do one, and I can then I can do one after one. Boom. <laughs> Crazy the, talk, activate! At the very least, use a two-handed, because this is taking forever. Wow, that is fast. Holy shit. Yeah, I just didn't feel like wasting Estus, though. You know? if, I'm, if I fuck up. It's okay, check it out. We can do it like this. Uh, are you the last two? They are. Okay. Yeah, do it like that. Like that, you say? Like that. Yep. Slopes are weird, and in this game, even when there's non-slopes, they still act up weird. Okay, so that is that at that? I feel like that's that area, minus those three. Yeah? Okay, great. I will confidently strive forward with less confidence. Oh, you should definitely tone that confidence down. Good rock, you will beat it. Uh, what was my last bonfire? Oh, very, very close by. It's on that little balcony. You, it's like a, it's like a forty-second run. Why don't I just go level up? Yeah, okay. That's probably for the best. But don't run back. Just bone out. No. Bones are cheap, man. I got the cheapest boner around right here. Still reminds me of the fucking... Oh, God. Pro Jared video that he put out on April Fool's many years ago. It's like, what really is more important? Graphics or gameplay? And it's like a 35-minute video. And then 10 seconds in, it's like, it's actually all about getting that dick! And it just zoom in on a bunch of characters' dicks. Followed by like 34 minutes of black. <laughs> Does that even count as April Fools? I don't know, but it's awesome. 
cracks me up. That's a good, that's a good video. That's a, that's a, that's content. No one can say it's not content. No, it's contempt. Let's see what? It's like a... You're gonna come. You're gonna come. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I, f I forgot this guy was here. Just go. Oh, fine. fine. They're so slow. Yeah, I don't. I know, but I don't know what I'm running into. So. I'm sorry. That one actually, I was being that guy. I don't know what I'm running into. You're running into an area with no enemies. I don't- I didn't know that. Like, you know, try not to forget. I know. Hey man, I apologize right away. Thank you. But yeah, like, you can go and go and go and yeah, go, I, and I, they're- they're quite- Okay. I'm- this is- this is new information I'm taking in right now. I mean, not to mention the amount of times where I thought that I could keep going, and then it turned out I couldn't. That happens quite a bit. Yeah, those are weird ones. And then we got one right over here. Okay. Well... Let's see what we're going I fucking love this zone. This is some big pit. I don't have time to take it in right now. That Seath went, like, crystal crazy in. I hear sounds... Oh, that's a moonlight butterfly. Sure is. You guys are not gonna fall off and kill yourselves, huh? No, they're pretty good about it, actually. So, Seath also, like, totally manufactured the moon that butterflies. I can't believe you're following that far. I don't know what's that. But... Okay, there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Fine. Ain't they pretty? I don't know. That doesn't look far. That looks too far. I'm gonna fall and die. Okay, I can I cannot, handle. I, can I cannot handle believe you. that. You bastard, motherfucker! I can fireball from there. Yeah, but can you kill a moonlight butterfly with one fireball? No. But it's it could be, it could be a, a you know a weaker enemy version. Well, if you look farther in, you can see more of them. Yeah. So maybe he doesn't take as many hits. You know. I don't know. That was a mistake. I was completely baffled as to why you wanted to attack them in the first place. I thought a, I thought a cool item might have come out of it. Well, there's something coming out of it. All right. Well, that's well, now boss fight again. I also expected it to attack me at any moment. Ah, oh, that. Okay. Okay. Dude! First try, even. Wow. With a moonlit butterfly coming from the guts, huh? Yeah, you certainly added the modifiers to yourself on this one. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. He's... Yeah, I, 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 I fully... He's bad to fight. Okay, I fully expected... Me to turn my back on him and then and him d to yeah, just go yeah butterfly butterfly magic bullshit like he did the first time and that's a reasonable you know guess he seemed peaceful looking at me but I feel like Dark Souls is Dark Dark Souls I feel like this game would be one of those Dark games Souls is Dark Souls is where they'd be like cousin. I am peaceful no wait your back is showing so you know I was like let me kill him and then Cheap Trick associates himself with you. Um, I would. Yeah. Why? Why does he make giant weird crystal magic bugs that have rotating, like awesome symbols on their backs? There's so many. Like that's things. that's the part that I don't get. There's so many. Like all the other things that he makes and experiments with, I can get it. Like ah ha ha crystals. But the moonlit butterflies are super elaborate. They are. Um, I didn't... Did the description describe them as crystal beings? I 
don't remember. I don't remember what the soul said. I also like that the Moonlit Butterfly boss that you fought earlier was just like a fucking butterfly that just kind of wandered down to Lordran. Yeah, he just <laughs> kind of got, got where he wasn't supposed to go. That, yeah. I fucking love that. I wonder, I wonder if there was a reason for that. It's just another enemy that's a boss, right? Because it's a tough enemy. Was that a path? Is that a path? It looks like it could be. Maybe next time I'll find out. Well, luckily, Butterfly doesn't hold grudges. Yeah, uh, which is nice. Good to know. Alright, you gotta go. No, <sighs> I no. fucking love the slide. No if, ands, or buts about it. You got to go. Was that three? Yeah. Uh, yes. Liar. Why liar? I, I, I don't know. So yes, Thank God. friendly, friendly people. Thank God for path consistency. So how the fuck was this discovered? You can see the the crystals landing on it. Landing on it. That's how. Ah, uh, no more. And it's stairs. actually somewhat wide. See? Yeah, I see. You see, I had I had so, another, there's another blood stain that that mm -hmm. looked like, um. Yeah, he comes no matter what. Okay, there's another blood stain. And, uh, that created a line in my head, but this time around, you know? Yeah, so once you- once you figure out the start point, and you figure out the end point, you- you- you can mentally project the- the line in- uh, in the fucking invisible- Yeah. And he's so much tougher than all the other ones. Yeah. And you have to fight him on this tiny little bitch path. Yeah, straight lines. The reason you're using your Uchi for this fight, it killed them faster last time. Oh. I mean, the range is good though. Because like this hyper vertical. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it just, it just, but it kills faster. Is what I was, you know, that's, that's why I kept it out for that. But uh, I wasn't getting the opportunity to sidestep and swing, 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 swing. I hate this part. I hate this fucking spot. So that happens every time. Yeah, right? every time. It's always happened every time. It's the worst. Okay. Well, I can see there's a message floating right here. So I can see that this pathway does, in fact, continue. It does, in fact, exist. All the way down to there. Yeah. So there's a couple paths oh, in here. Fuck, there's a couple paths, isn't there? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know what, Wolves? Uh, uh, this is not- this is not to, to dunk on you. You're getting pretty lucky with these fucking placements. Yeah, thank you. You're getting pretty lucky. No, I- I appreciate what the human- human race has done. Cause... Like, I did this at a time where most of it was totally manual, and that- that was rough. You just take it There's slow. nothing past him. Okay. Ah, well. Hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that noise? Oh, 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 what it? Oh! Oh, I'm liking this confidence. Granted. That's all I have. Granted, like, I'm seeing death shit happen in front of you that is giving you power. Yep. Just get the fucking thing! Just get it! Yo, oh, that was so not worth this trip! Maybe I can beat this guy now. But I'm on um, slightly less garbage footing. I absolutely cannot stand the. Uh, what do you. How would I put this? The fact that your footing is off center. Like, it's, it's highly, highly sloped. Like, it's real fucking bad. I staggered him. Yeah, you did, huh? That's- that's- that's my gun- that's gonna be my trick. <laughs> that's my secret, That's Cap. my secret, is gonna be- I always stagger. Two-hand and stagger, and hope for the best. Because now- Oh, this feels weird! Now I know I can do it. Yeah, this is- this is- This weird. is a weird one. This is weird. So you can tell from the drops, these- these pads are actually super wide. See, uh, yeah, I- when I was looking at the drops, I- I, I could- Oh, you were a one-and-done, weren't you? That's why I don't remember him. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's not so bad. This area relies on the kindness of everyone else, and playing this offline, fuck you, is probably It's gonna happen worst. every time. Okay, well then... A sprint, maybe? No, do you just have to aim, like, forward and to the left as you do so. You won't fall off, it's just gonna feel like you're going to. Okay. Yeah, playing this area offline must be absurd. Yeah, listen, it's not great. Listen to that sound, though. Th I'm, I'm glad- thank god these butterflies are peaceful. I know, right? Just doing it while running. Yeah, that's the way. Hidden path ahead, they say. Yeah, for real, huh? Alright. Let's see, right here. Right there. In fact, they even give you a nice little... ...notch... ...arrow. ...to fall down. How wide is this, this path? It's pretty wide. Ah, oh, but now it's starting okay. to turn. So this one curves. Fuck. I see it. I see it. I can see it. So... Straight lines. And... Our brains are meant to do this. Yeah. The human brain is really good at... All sorts of stupid shit. ...connecting the dots. Hey! Congrats! What's over here? It goes down. A little bit of something. Yeah. Amazing item ahead. I wouldn't believe that for a fucking second. Let's, let's not let's keep our dicks in our pants for now. No. Amazing item ahead. I'm glad I kept it in my pants. It's full. That would have been embarrassing. And then over here... You have like a real floor. And the camera is just losing its mind. Um, people, yeah, there's an option to deal with that, apparently. <sighs> oh, you still haven't turned that off? The camera auto-recover? You told me you turned it off, like, 16 parts ago. No, no, I told you I heard about it when people talked about oh, it. Oh, you did? Yeah, go into fucking, uh, settings. It's called camera auto-wall recovery. Turn it off. So now what does that do? Camera won't touch the wall. Oh, it just clips through? Yeah. Just solves the problem you've had the whole time. But it zo it zooms in instead of I, I don't under I don't exactly understand how it's solving it. Because it's not a clipping, it doesn't clip through. Well it what's the problem you're having then? No no no, it was the no, it was that. That that fixed it. Okay. But it didn't change its method of dealing with the issue. Oh boy, more of these guys, huh? Why'd that one come first? Yeah, I don't know. Clams, man. They run on different rules. Oh, you staggered him. Wow, you're staggering the shit out of them. If you two hand it, you'd probably stagger the fuck out of them. Probably, guys. probably. Um, yeah. Item inside this? No, just skulls. Okay. Just horrific, horrific skulls. Just gotta watch out for that shit, though. Do the slow one. Oh, dude, every hit. Every hit staggers. They have zero poise. Perfect. It's not they have zero, I'm sure they have some, but they I- They have like two. But I've got a lot. They got two poise. I got lots. So, poise damage for you. Did you see that I shit? Got, I did it, it was a trade. I did see. That was fucking weird. Okay, stamina though. What a weird exchange. Oh, cool. that's goofy. Wow, two-handing, huh? Hey, you got a twinkling. Hey, wow, you got two? Wow, that's quite rare. Oh, boy, look at all these guys hanging out. Yeah. You guys look cool with this. Yeah, I have one behind big you. piece of advice. Everything else is the uh, shit you've dealt with before, right? Yeah. See that crystal? Yeah. Smash it. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. That's the only thing you need to know. Okay. And once you smash it, it's smashed. Okay. Smash the crystal. Oh, those aren't people. Oh, they used to be.
There's something kind of cool about this armor, though. Mm -hmm. There's something very tired. Yeah. Like, oh, another drag, more dragons. Fine. So that is what the king in DS3 was trying to become. And he's, he he's pretty. Yeah. If not embarrassed. Oh, he's behind the crystal. Or no, it wasn't. It was the other way. The camera turned me around. So here's Cease deal. That crystal is the source of his eternal life. And that's the end of that. If that crystal continues to exist, his wounds will instantaneously auto-heal. Wow. That's why he keeps it down here. And it's why you're completely one million percent unable to beat him in the other situation. Oh, yeah. Careful of that meter. I don't even know what's happening it's right now. It's curse. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yep. Seath does curse. Which you are now cursed. Oh, fuck. You got any purging stones on you? I don't remember. I believe you do. You must have picked up one at some point. I had a ring. There it is! I have one. Okay. But that's every time you fight him. Every time you die that via that method. Who sold who sold who sold those? Uh the fucking partner. At the top of the undead church, sold them, and uh, the guy in New Londo, what's his name? The guy in red, he'll do it for you, and he sells them as well. During that fight, then, I'm gonna need to have that, like. No, 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 no. Curse is an instant kill. If you get curse, you die. But to get the bar to go down, you run. You stop getting hit by curse. It's the only way. You can't eat those. You cannot eat okay. them. Uh, what, what you do have that you picked up from New Londo, which I would swap for your Leo, is the Curse Bite Ring. I do, yeah, I do have that and that ring. I remember that with the person's face on it. Yeah. That is highly useful here. Just build up the resistance. Uh, yeah, it's four down. You passed it. Uh, keep, keep going. Five down? There yeah, it is. There we go. So, it gave you a lot That's more. a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But before we hit Seath again, buy we some. should definitely go buy some Perching Stones. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering if I should just try it or not, but okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, Andre, in the uh, <sighs> Where the fuck? Undead Parish. Undead Parish. That's the one. Yeah. And then you go up to the top of the fucking thing, and you talk to the partner, and you're like, dude, listen. So I got him down to half on that run. Yeah. Now that you know what his deal is, if you want to two-hand it and, like, power within it and shit, yeah, you can do it. Oh, by the way, Seath's tail, as he is a dragon. Of course. Wait, who do I- no, I don't give Andre the crystal. But, uh, no, you give it to Rickard. Uh, no, the fucking- uh, why do I keep saying Rickard? Giant, the giant, giant, yeah. The giant. The giant. And he goes, thanks to the crystal. Um, I haven't done this run in a while. As he is a dragon, he has a tail that becomes a weapon if you cut it off. I don't he is also place. really, really annoying because of the way that he slide turns. I gave up on that clearly with uh, Kalamit. So you know, the only thing of note is the highly specific weapon that it drops because it's the Moonlight Greatsword. No, 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 no! Upstairs. Uh... Useless to you. But... Yeah. Also, Seath is totally a character from fucking Kingsfield. Oh, is he? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Um... Oh my god. So it's yeah. It's been so long since we've been here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Moonlight Greatsword is definitely something I want to look at, but... 
It's a greatsword. I'm never going to use it, but fuck. And it's a magic greatsword. Well, first of all, the bottom half of his body didn't even seem like there was a tail sticking yeah, out. Yeah, there's technically a tail. It's his third tentacle. Oh, okay. I didn't... I didn't get a good look. He's super weird and gross. And you see that he's, like, literally overgrown with crystals around parts uh -huh, of his body. Uh-huh. Was that... I couldn't tell where that curse was coming from because of that fucked it's, camera. It's the crystal. It's the crystal itself? Any of the crystals touching you equals curse. All right. How do you keep your hands out all day, sir? All day. Greetings. Just in time. Three K A pop. Well, you're gonna pop some shit, and while you do that, I am going to read you the in-game description of one Moonlight Greatsword. It has a lot. It has some decent significance. This sword, one of the rare dragon weapons. Oh, hold on. I don't have to get pardoned by him and rejoin that covenant, do I? What covenant? Um, the lady stuff. We did that. No, no, no I know, but do did, did we get pardoned? No, but you didn't have to. You, you rejoined. I thought pardoning was a thing with sin. Oh well, okay. Uh, I, I remember we did it, but I just didn't remember talking to him for this stuff. So I, people mentioned sin coming up as, as uh, an issue. Well, see if he'll absolve anything. Like talk to him, and if you have sin to absolve, he'll absolve it. Now he'll definitely absolve you of sin with the fucking uh, forest bros. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for the forest covenant for sure. Uh, so rare dragon weapons came from the tail of Seath the Scaleless, the pale white dragon who betrayed his own. That's pretty normal. Seath is the grandfather of What are you reading? The fucking Moonlight Sword description. The Moonlight description. Yeah. Seath is the grandfather of sorcery. And this sword is imbued with his magic, which shall be unleashed as a wave of moonlight. So like Seath invented the concept of sorcery. It's pretty significant. Yeah, he's pretty- he's pretty fucking smart. Alright, I think five- It's a shame about all the crazy, though. I think five should be enough. Oh, that's definitely plenty. <laughs> Fuck you, Oswald. You're such a shit. Was that his name? I think it's Oswald. Well, like, why- imagine if your priest, if you're- when you're doing your confession, like, takes it and goes, Yes, my child, do five Hail Marys, and then laughs maniacally as you leave. That's kind of nuts. I'm sure that's totally never actually happened, for real. <laughs> you'd- at best you'd get like a, yeah, uh, just go do the, uh, Our, fa our Father, one our, our, our Father, uh, the Lord's- one Lord's Prayer and you're fine. Now burn your soul! Snicker, snicker. Wow, you have that practice. Hey, uh, you gonna, gonna confess any, uh, any more souls today? Any more sins today? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got any, uh, any bad things you've done? <laughs> oh, all will be forgiven. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for real. Don't trust that guy. No. Don't. Alright, let's do round two. And this time you do have to get behind him to smash his stupid fucking crystal. Oh, the positioning changes. I see. I fucking hate his creepy tentacles. I guess that would I be the tail. I fucking hate them. No, that's- that's his tail. Okay. See how it looks exactly like his other creepy tentacles? Yes, I do. So he hates that. He does not like that. Yeah, okay. Also, his crystals are the only thing I've never been able to ever get. Like, to not fucking drag the frame rate down. Ah. Oh. So, yeah, you see that delta in between his front legs? Yes. That's the worst part to be. You want to be on his sides. So fucking gross. Like, he's so pretty, but then you, when you get a closer look at him, he's like all nasty and he's got like cysts made out of fucking crystals.
Yeah, that's a spirit. Just stab at his pustules. Oh my god, you do so much damage with that two-handed. Maybe you should have gotten more scales, see. I don't think the one crystal scale was doing it for you. The man invites you into his house, and you go into his cave, and smash his eternal life, and then stab his creepy tentacle bits. Surprisingly not that hard. No. At all. Once you see to the it, it, so he's only hard if you're trying to get the moonlight sword, uh, because getting to his tail is super difficult. But getting to his tail, did he? I didn't see him attack behind him once. Well, you, you, you he has a tail smash, I assume. He does have a tail smash because that would have been otherwise free. Hey, you got a bequeathed soul lord shard. Soul. Plus a couple of these. Oh, hey, you got some levels. That's a couple of these. All right, what's the bequeathed soul shard say? Hold on, let's like this. Any random NPC showing up inside here that I need to worry about? No. You sure? Oh, I'm certain. Okay. Um... So yeah, the, uh, 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 whatchamacallit? The... Uh, I, I pro you know what? Probably could have blocked a tail smash with my Yeah, thing. probably. Probably wouldn't have been as hard to so, get So, let's, let's break this down. Gwyn gave a piece of his soul to the Four Kings, and he also gave a piece of his soul to see. And he was still the baddest dude around. Even after splitting his soul into six components. Pretty impressive. It's a, it's a key item. Also, oh, it's not under the souls? No, because you can't use the, the Lord's souls. Right, okay. Yes. Uh, soul of Seath the Scaleless. Soul of the Albino Seath the Scaleless. A fragment of a Lord's soul discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Seath allied with Lord Gwyn and turned upon the dragons, and for this he was awarded dukedom, embraced by the royalty, and given a fragment of a great soul. Although just a piece, it will still satiate the Lord Vessel. So you're a fucking dragon, and you got a piece of his soul. Yep. And he invented magic. How are you such a bitch for being that in insanely powerful? Well, he's not... The, the Okay, here's the deal. His magic power is ridiculous. But he is exceedingly physically frail. Well, unbelievable. And did did the did the uh, did Gwyn's soul do that to him? No, he's just always been a. Bitch. He's always been like that. Yep. So he's the one that would betray them because he felt. He, well, everybody else gets stone scales of immortality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's the only one that will die of old age. So that's why he did it. So he goes, fuck this. Fuck this. Yeah. Fuck I you. I see. I see. He's still a bitch, though, and he went down super easy. Yeah, super easy. That's that's impressively sad. I wonder what the ancient dragon would have to say about. Oh, not the ancient, the guy downstairs. Wonder, Everlasting dragon. I wonder what he would have to say. I, I know what he would say. Uh, yeah. Those come on, ancient dragon, everlasting dragon. Let's be real. There, there's a well. There's they're different. Let's be real. There's the dragon god and the dragon dragon rock the dragon. Dragon Ball Z. Oh. You have like 300 souls to go. Yeah. Just pop it. Hold your tongue out. Get a little bit of crystal on it. Wait, what? Just take your tongue out. You know, like when you like when the rain it's raining. Yeah. And then you'll you'll like you'll have a couple souls just land on your tongue. And then you. Oh, that's them. nice. All right. I remember. I forget where I read it. But somebody pointed out that the world of Dark Souls, having all these gods and, and demons and whatnot, is all kind of a sham, because there is no afterlife, because your soul literally just sits on your body, and you just go pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> and that keeps happening forever. <laughs> yeah. Like, you die, and your soul literally just melts out of your chest and lies on the ground. What I want to know is, if souls are kind of like atoms, or, you know what I mean? In the sense that, like, there is a limited amount, and... Well, not limited, but in the sense... In the, in the, what I'm trying to say is, everything's made up of these things. Yeah. Even nothing is made up of these things. Uh-huh. So, 
souls when you die a second time, where do they go? What happens to that pile of souls? You can't explain that. It's like... It's What's like the science? It's like magic. Uh, sorry, not magic. It's like magnets. What's the science of a double death? What's the science of a wait, soul? You, wait, you talking about you talking about undead? I'm talking about I'm I'm an undead. Yeah, I, you're an undead. I've collected a million souls and I died. Million twice. souls, yeah. Where does that million souls go? Uh oh. Canonically. Uh, canonically, it just sits on the floor for somebody else. In another. And it, it goes timeline. into an, another convoluted Lordran <laughs> and becomes a, a soul on some body. Fuck you. That's stupid. That is stupid.